let's begin with the question number one a man goes into a giant such that his linear dimensions increases by a factor of nine factor of nine assuming that his density remains same the stress in the leg will change by a factor of so according to the question we can say that the linear dimensions are increasing so if i think about the ratio of volume so if i go for final volume to the initial volume what you can do because question says all linear dimensions are increasing so we can write 9 to the power 3 and question says density is constant if density is constant so if i go for the ratio between mass so if i take final mass to the initial mass so we can write 9 to the power 3 as i said i would repeat all linear dimensions are increasing so if i consider this is my equation number 1 so now after this if i go for the ratio of area final area to the initial area and that is equal to 9 square and this is my equation number 2 but we want to calculate stress and we know that stress is given by force upon area or mass into acceleration due to gravity by area so if I represent final area by sigma f and initial stress by sigma i and this is the ratio between final stress to the initial stress so we can write final mass to the initial mass and multiplied with initial area to the final area okay so if i put the value of final mass to the initial mass and that is 9 to the power 3 multiplied by 9 square so that will give you 9 so on solving we can write final stress is equal to 9 times of initial stress so for this question my option number 1 is correct ok so now we are going to take question number 2 question number 2 says a body is thrown vertically upward which one of the following graph correctly represented the velocity versus time so question says body is going up so we can say acceleration due to gravity will act in downward direction so according to the sign convection acceleration will be negative and constant and constant and we know that if I go for the slope of velocity time graph and that will give you acceleration so if I go for the graph number one so here you could see slope will be positive so this is not correct and if I go for option number two here this is not correct because time can never flow back but if I concentrate in the option number 3 so here you could see slope will be negative as I said the velocity time graph if I go for velocity time graph then slope of this graph give us acceleration so we can say that on the basis of that my option number third is correct 